With the Alpha 300 series, VTEC offers already a very modular series of confocal Raman microscopes that can be also combined with other techniques like AFM, SEM or other techniques. Um, now we introduce the access system. As the name suggests, it is the entry to the VTEC family of confocal Raman microscope and it's not a dead end. The user can start with a very basic system but at any time can upgrade to any system in the VTEC confocal Raman microscope series. Okay, so this is the Access which we release here at, at Analytica. The Access is part of the Alpha 300 uh, family and as such it has a laser which is fiber-based and a spectrometer which is fiber-based. The advantage of this setup is multiple. So A, with a fiber-based laser or fiber-coupled laser, you always have a guaranteed diffraction limited point light source. You're completely independent of where you put your laser, so you've got a complete uh, flexible footprint and the coupling efficiency typically is 70 to 80 percent. The spectrometer has the same thing. It's direct coupling equivalent with a broadband signal mode fiber. Again, you can place your spectrometer wherever you want it, up on top on a shelf or something like this, even under the table to save space in your laboratory. The Access itself comes in two flavors. First is a pure manual system where you position your, uh, your sample manually, you focus your sample manually and then you've got access to get spectra or time series. The version we have here is the Access with a motorized stage which you can see in here. The motorized stage is a high position stage uh, where typically we can achieve positioning accuracy of less than half a micron. The Z focusing is still manual You've got access to multiple laser lines and couplers. There's a high-definition video system enclosed with it. And then, of course, the detection beam part. The whole system is based on a Zeiss microscope, which has curler illumination and thus gives you access to things like dark fields, DIC, and so on and so forth. Even epifluorescence imaging shouldn't be a problem at all. The example I have here is a polymer on a, uh, on a glass cover slip. It's a mixture of polystyrol and PMMA, extremely thin in the range of a micron uh, or less. And what we have here in the, in the video is a live video stream, which we see in here. So if I move my sample by just using remote control, I am moving here within my video image. Earlier, I did a stitching image, which shows you a millimeter by a millimeter of this sample, so significantly more than your objective can do. But you see, it's very nice. You don't see any borders or anything like this. That comes from the high quality curly illumination used for illumination. If the illumination would be not as good, then you would see squares in here. What we see here is the structure of the, poly uh, of the polymer. And then, of course, you can drive to various positions. If I, for example, click in here, then you will see that the video drives to this position in real time. Of course, you can also take single spectra, which is what we're interested in here in the Raman system. For this, I have to bring the white light illumination into the position for Raman. I have to take out the video camera and of course, I have to open the laser shutter. Once the laser shutter is open, I can simply click accumulate single spectrum. And I've uh, chosen an integration time of two seconds, which will give me now the spectrum here in two seconds. This is what we see. Um, PMMA is the material which we recorded here at this position. Of course, I can now say, oh, I'm interested in another position, so let's see what this rainbow-like structure looks like. So I just click here, the system automatically moves there, I record another single spectrum, and what we see here, again with two seconds integration time, we see the very strong spectrum of polystyrene. Now, if we sort our screen to have a little bit more clarity of where is what, then we close these images, zoom in here again. I can now locate where my spectrum were recorded by simply drag and dropping it into the, into the screen. So you see one spectrum was recorded here, one was here. If I just hit enter, I get those two spectrum displayed. So like this, I can analyze exactly what is at which position with a high, very high level of uh, confocality. Because uh, that's one thing I want to show you. The confocality is extremely high. This is the live spectra now with half a second integration time. If I now change the focus only, change the focus only a tiny little bit, you see we are now instantly inside the glass. 
that shows you the high confocality of this entry level system. You don't see any polymer anymore, you just see glass. I move a little bit upwards again and I I have my polymer spectra again. In this case now I'm at a position where I've got both. So I move a little bit further. Then you see very nice polymer, no glass at all. Of course, imaging is also possible with the system. If we do that, then we can within the area here choose where we want to do an image. So I go to my large area image scan. I tell it, okay, uh, listen area. And I just choose the area of interest and hit start large area scan. It does the scan, now recording the spectrum at every position. You see here how it changes bit by bit. Once you've recorded that, I've done that before, so we look at the saved data set. This is now the project for software. The system, as all uh, VTEC so uh, systems, comes with two softwares, the control and the project software. Control for data acquisition, project for data evaluation, license free for all users of the system. Here, an image scan was uh, recorded. This here are the spectra which were recorded. So if I click now in my video image, I see live how the spectrum changes as a function of position. So here we got polystyrol, whereas here we got PMMA. If you do some data evaluation, as well possible, all the power of the VTEC software is available, then you can evaluate this to see in a false color image where are my components and what is the spectral information within them. So we got PMMA here with the red spectrum and predominantly polystyrol with a blue spectrum down here.